Hey guys! Guess what time of the month it is. It is time for favorites and unfavorites. I cannot believe we are like uber close to March. It's disturbing. It's probably going to be March by the time I post this. And that's insane if you ask me. I just have some favorites. I don't think I have any unfavorites. These are in no particular order. I think I'm going to try really hard to do like hair first and go from there. So anyway, for hair I have a dry shampoo this month and this is the Batchies dry shampoo in the Sassy Endearing Wild scent. That is what it looks like. I got this at Winners um, an eternity ago. I only got two cans because that's all they had. But usually you can only get the original and the blush and the tropical scents here. So when you find something different at Winners you get really excited and try to stockpile. So I tried and failed on the stockpiling because I only got two. This is my last one. I'm not ready to part with it. I love the scent. It's absolutely fabulous. So that makes me really, really happy. Uh, another hair product I've been loving is the... Um, it's a kids thing, I'm sorry. The Life Brand Kids Detangler for wet and dry hair. It smells like sweet pear. I can't find a detangler that doesn't smell like pear in St. John's, but I used to use this all the time when I was a kid, and it works really well. I use it every day when I get out of the shower, and I use a like a thick comb, like a thick, a thick comb, a wide tooth comb to comb through my hair, and I never have a snag, a snag so that's really nice. Um, what do you want to do next? Not that you guys really care. Okay, face care, face care, face care. I have been loving my uh, Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser with Red Clay from First Aid Beauty. I got this as a freebie with my um, Sephora order, so I really like this stuff. It's really clarifying. I've noticed my acne has been a lot less. Like, I still get acne, but I'm not getting um, like big, painful zits, so that's exciting. Yay! Another product I've been um, almost out of is my Lush Lip Scrub. This is in the uh, popcorn scent. Like, I am digging pretty deep on that bad boy. I do have a bubblegum one, and I also use the Indigena Bake Apple um, with sugar scrub. So, it's been, uh, you know, I have variety, but that's the one I'm using up the most here lately. Just, I think for me, I just don't like having a lot of the same types of products opened. I just like using one up and then going on to the next one. So, yay for that. Usually I exfoliate my lips once a week, sometimes twice depending on how bad the weather is here and here lately it's been really bitter so my lips are drying out a lot more and I do need to exfoliate. And once I exfoliate, that was a good segue, I go over the top of it with my indigenous smooth, uh, smooch, I was going to say smooth that time, smooch lip balm. This is a love, this is like my third one I think. So this is kind of new, I only started using it the other day, but this is really hydrating, really soothing, and it just goes on your lips, and you can also really get away with wearing it on your lipstick, so I really like that as well, like it's thin enough, but it still serves its purpose and does its job, and to be honest, that's all a girl could really ask for. Fragrance, I pretty much for the last two weeks for sure have only worn the Katy Perry uh, Royal Revolution fragrance. Yay, I love this. There's a new one coming out March 1st. It's pink and it's for spring. I don't know what it's called yet, but I'm super duper excited about that. Um, and that one is going to be limited edition. I have skin product this one as well. Uh, this is from The Body Shop and this is the Vanilla Brulee Body Butter. I'm usually not a fan of um, like these body butters. I like the Satsuma one, but I generally I don't buy them. I'm digging pretty deep on this one. I really tried to uh, moisturize a lot over the last few months. Like I'm really making a conscious effort. Like I usually leave this, believe it or not, by my computer. I'm more inclined to use it when it's in my eyesight over there, and I usually put it on right away, right after shower. And I always feel a little bit better about myself. I always feel proud that I did it. Um, another favorite, it's not just this color, but it's the entire line. I've been wearing a lot of them this month. I feel like in all my weekend reviews, I've said them at least twice. And these are the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipsticks. I just grabbed the uh, Fate for Fuchsia today because I'm wearing it. But that's what it looks like. Um, I love these. I love the formula. I was hesitant about a matte lippy because they're usually very drying, but these are not, and that makes me really happy. That's going in my purse. Um, <laughs> and now onto the other makeup products. I only have three more favorites, guys. This is a primer. This is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pressed Powder. I wear it all the time. I pretty much wear it under my makeup as a primer. Sometimes if I'm too lazy to set my makeup with powder, I use this as well. Um, it works really well. It keeps the makeup in place for the bulk of the day and my pores are noticeably minimized. So that makes me happy. Um, I've been obsessed. This is ridiculous. I've been obsessed with this next product. And this is the Tarte, Tarte Lip Palette. I haven't put it in the drawer. I've had it for like a month and I haven't put it in the drawer. I've used it every day since I've gotten it. 
That's what it looks like. It didn't break, thank goodness me. But anyway, the shatter just popped out in this color right here. Um, I will fix that later with some hot glue. It's not a big deal. I just had a heart attack. Okay. Oh, that almost shattered. I really like this palette. I love the fact that it's matte. Um, it's versatile. Why that broke, I do not know because it hasn't left my room. That's really sad. Okay. Um, what was I saying? It was. It's very versatile. I did a full review on it. I really love this. I have it on my eyes today. That's an awkward pose. I'm sorry. Um, and I just think it's a really good palette. I, I love it. I really do. I can't imagine my life without it, to be honest. Um, I love the all matte eyeshadow look. I didn't think I would, but I do, so we're just going to go with it. Um, I've also been loving for a convenience the last two weeks at least are uh, these Naked Urban Decay Flushed palettes. I have all four. This one's in the shade Naked Flushed Native. I just kind of like just having a three-in-one palette on my vanity. This is great. This is coming to work with me today because I'm going out tonight. But, um, you know, like I love the fact that you get your blush, your highlight, and your bronzer. Uh, and it's convenient and it just makes life a little bit easier. I have two more favorites that I completely forgot about. Um, they came in top box this month. This is the Benefit Puff Off. I've used this every morning since I've gotten it and my eyes have been really puffy and sore and tired because so I'm not sleeping at all. And I notice a difference with it and I'm just using my finger because it doesn't come with a little metal iron the sample size and I've noticed a difference so I can only imagine what the actual full size product does so that's exciting and this I'm in shock by this is the benefit roller lash also came in top box in case we're wondering I love top box a lot this month um, this is an amazing mascara I use it's the only mascara I have on my eyes today I found it really curled and it kind of gave me a little bit of volume, which I was shocked by. It also lengthened. Um, I used it on my upper and my lower lashes and I'm shocked by it. For a while I was using it as my first comb mascara and then adding like the, uh, I think I'm using the Rimmel Wonder Lash right now. And I love the effect. I think I may like this a little bit more than the benefit they're real. I never thought I'd say that. Wow. But anyway, it is what it is. I'm really excited. This comes out the beginning of March, I think. I don't know the exact date. I'll try to remember to link it down below. And yay for that. What else do I have to say this month? I don't really have any other favorites. I don't think I don't have any unfavorites. Probably because I haven't had a lot of time to sit down and test products to see if I like them or not. Um, I'm still working through Sarah Shepard's Perfectionist. I'm on chapter 20, so yay for that. I am loving Audible. I've been listening to it on Audible. That's been a favorite app this month. Again, I usually have that every month as a favorite, I think. And I still haven't stopped listening to So Let's Go by Alan. That doesn't get old. I don't think it's going to get old. And uh, it just makes me really happy in the morning. So yay for that. Uh, that's pretty much it for me on the favorites this month. Um, don't forget I'm doing a giveaway until March 17th. So I will link all that down below for you lovelies to watch. If you guys like monthly favorites, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below and tell me what your favorites or unfavorites are this month. Don't forget to subscribe. Happy lovely March. Behave yourselves. Tell me if you guys have anything fun going on in the month of March. I'd love to hear about it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.